Let's go ahead and send it back to you, ladies. All right, thank you, Mike. We all know the importance of encouraging the children in our lives to read, but the love of books may not come easy all the time or to all kids. Children's librarians Freda Williams and Erin Wynn from the Knox County Public Library System join us now with more on reading. And you're gonna, you've got suggestions for books. You know, before we come out to this segment, Mike's doing his weather, and we're talking about different books we've read, and we're so passionate about it. This is what you want reading to mean to kids, right. wouldn't you say? Yes. Absolutely. Expand on that. Well, we want children to feel like when they open a book, they're stepping into another world, like you were talking about with the Hunger Games. We want children like, like the children who were into Harry Potter. Mm -hmm. They step into that world and they can't wait to go back to it. And that's what you want, whether it's fantasy or nonfiction or a book about the kids down the street. You want the children to have that same excitement every time they go to open a book. Okay, let's start. Um, we're talking about guiding parents to teaching their kids. Give us some, some advice on this. I think one of the most important things for parents when they want to encourage reading in their own children is to read aloud to their kids. Um, reading aloud is a great time for them to bond together, but it also shows them that reading can be a fun activity. And so starting as early as you can, reading aloud. I started actually with my son before he was even born, reading to him every night. And reading to your belly. Right, yeah, exactly. So, I mean, just keep it going. And uh, even when they can learn to read on their own, still read aloud with them. So and this is a book to be. kind of help you guide your children. Right. Reading Magic by Mem Fox. Um, Mem Fox is a children's author and a literacy expert. And she encourages you to read aloud with your child and um, shows how to teach them to read by reading aloud. Okay, let's talk about some different books that are good. And we're going to start in the infant and toddler category. Okay. With um, kids that are really young, you want to start with some board books, of course, because they're tough. Uh, they can handle little hands and little teeth. And some uh, suggestions that we have are Karen Catch. She has some interactive books where they're lift the flap uh, so you can get the kids involved. Sandra Boynton's always been a favorite of all of ours. Uh, she's funny, has some cute little characters and uh, Leslie Patricelli has some books um, like Big Little that go cover concepts and have bright colors and a cute little baby character. Oh fun, okay. Now what about for preschoolers? For preschoolers you know, you're moving into the picture books and with any kid of any age you want maybe to look at some series because once they are attached to a character they've got more books to go on to. So we looked at like the Llama Llama books by Anna Dudney, and that's a fun little character. The books are written in rhyme, and um, it just it's experiences that any kid would have. There's um, going to the grocery store and getting mad at your mom. There's uh, going to your first day of school, bedtime, and then we move on to maybe um, Skippy John Jones by Judy Shackner. And that character is a little kitten that thinks he's a chihuahua. <laughs> and he's very imaginative and has all these great adventures and they're really funny, That's funny cute. books. Yeah. yeah. What about beginning readers and, and older kids? What about Sure, those? with beginning readers, there's those classics out there like Cat in the Hat, Frog and Toad, but there's some newer ones like Biscuit by Cappuccilli. Um, that series is a cute little puppy dog and any kid would love a puppy. I think Olivia's cute. Do you know Olivia's she's very a little cute. Olivia. We were reading that home last night. Yes. <laughs> is she cute? <laughs> I know. And if yeah. you don't know Mo, Mo Williams book, Willems yeah. books, uh, the Gerald and Piggy books mm -hmm. for beginning readers. They are awesome. Okay, Great. young adult. Well, uh, excuse me, older kids. Oh yeah, older kids. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, <laughs> we actually don't do too much with the young adults. Yeah, teenagers. Sure. Yeah, sorry about that. Those teenagers. No, okay. <laughs> um, I know there's some great series out there, some adventure series like the Thirty Nine Clues, and each book in that series is written by a different children's author. They're really exciting. There's a little mystery going along, and one that Fred is really excited about, the Emerald Atlas. The Emerald Atlas by John Stevens. It's a fantasy book that came out this year. It's the first in a. It's um, trilogy that's about to happen. Fantasy. It involves dwarves and orphans and Whoa. magic and all, all sorts of cool. wonderful things. Lots of fun. Okay, well this is also a good time to remind parents and grandparents about the Imagination Library. Awesome. We are members of this. We get so excited to get our new book in the mail every month, I can tell you that. But all of us can remember the, the books we loved as kids, right. so this is wonderful. Thanks ladies so much for being with us. We appreciate it. Thank you it. for having Thank us. You. And we will be right back.